Hey guys, welcome back. It's okay. I'm just trying to console the kids for the next drill. Uh, it is the first time that they've done some of these, so they're not very happy. I'm just kidding. You guys don't have to cry. You're happy with this next drill. They've already tried it, right, to see if they could do it. And I told them, listen, uh, to be real, because we can film these and we can keep on saying cut when they don't do it right and we can restart. <laughs> Sometimes we do do that. <laughs> but I said it's okay to be real. And if you're having a challenge with these and <laughs> you fall on the ground or you moan and you groan or whatever the case is, that's fine. Do it. We're not going to hit cut because I want people to see as these drills get challenging and what parts of the bodies that they're affecting and things that you may not have thought of before. Okay, so I'll demonstrate it first uh, because I'm old and you guys are young and should be in better shape than me. But I'll go ahead and do it just to make sure that it can be done so there's no excuses later. All right, here we go. So we're going to take a chair, we're going to face it towards us, just like we have been in the other drills. Uh, we're going to take an elbow, put an elbow down to brace ourselves, and then we're going to put, in this case, it will be my left leg on top and my right leg underneath. Just like this, okay? We're not allowed to let the hip rest, okay? Let me back it up just a little bit. Can you see me okay? All right, so here's the position to start, right, once everybody gets there make it understood that this has got to be up. Now the foot's laying down on the ground right now and we want it to touch just to make sure that it is coming down. We just don't want it to slam. Okay, so we're going to leave the side kick position. So we're going to work on again the angle of the side kick where we pull the toes back. So up at the top, why not use that opportunity to focus on the correct position of the foot? The bottom doesn't really matter. We're really working the core here. It doesn't have anything to do with the kick, ultimately, but eventually it will help the kick. So from here, I'm gonna lift up, foot's down, I'm gonna come up, touch, and back down. And I'm gonna go slow at first, and you're gonna notice it will really strengthen this leg here, and it's also going to feel it all along the side in here as well. So we're gonna do, let's just say five on one side and then just switch, put the other elbow down and do five on that side, okay? Go ahead and take that position. And again, take your time. If you need to rest in between, do that. Straight legs, good technique and breathing is more important. Ready, go. Good. Now try to straighten out your body just a little bit, moving this arm back here more. There you go, nice. Now you may also find yourself wanting to hold your breath in certain drills or certain positions, especially when you're working core. Focus the breathing, relax the body, even though it seems like it's, like it's almost impossible when everything starts to tighten up. How can we relax when we tighten up? It comes from the breathing. When we master that fundamental thing that we come into this world with, breathing from here, will help everything else that we do. Good, have you guys switched and done the other leg? Go ahead and switch to the other side. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so set yourself uh, a goal. Do a few of these. Uh, go ahead, you can start. Do a few of these and see how well you can do it. Do you have to use your other hand to brace yourself up? Which is, which is fine. Uh, Rachel, put your other hand down just as like an extra brace. Yep, just like that. Yeah, so if you need to put the other hand down, two hands down to brace yourself, you guys can relax now. Go ahead and sit back. How do those feel? I mean, you can feel it in the top leg too, the one that's resting on top, and where else do you feel it? So you'll start to feel it in the core and in the side, especially. Okay, so now this time we're gonna have a little contest. We're gonna see if you can do 10 in 10 seconds. All right, so that's one per second. Ready, go ahead and pick a side. We're only gonna do one side. All right, whatever your stronger side is. All right, here we go. Ready, you got 10 seconds. Body's off the ground. Once the bodies are off the ground and the legs are straight, I'll start. No hips down, no hips down. There you go, right there. Ready, and go. 10, nine, a little bit faster. Eight, seven, all the way up, all the way down. Six, five, breathing, four, three, two, and relax. Good job, guys. All right, so that is drill number five. I'll see you in drill number six, where we're going to uh, continue to work uh, with the chairs, and we've got a lot of really exciting ones coming up for you. So I hope you're enjoying them. Feel free to use them however you like. I'm Tony. We'll see you next time.